everybody, my name is Brooke. I'm the Youth Services Coordinator at Livingston Parish Library Main Branch. So today I'm going to show you how to do some painting with watercolors. I'm just going to show you a few easy techniques that you can do. And I'm going to show you overall how to paint a flower like this. So what you'll need for today is you'll need a cup of water, you'll need a paper towel, you'll need some paper, preferably something thicker like cardstock or watercolor paper if you have it. Because if you just use regular paper, it won't work very well because the water won't be able to absorb into the paper. Um, you will need a paintbrush, preferably a watercolor paintbrush like this one. The watercolor paintbrushes specifically, they, uh, they soak up water and they hold it very well. Usually when you buy one of these little paint kits from Walmart, it comes with a paintbrush that you can use. And lastly, you need a paint kit. You need some watercolor paints. These are, this is just a cheap one that you can get from Walmart or probably the dollar store. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to paint a leaf with the single stroke of a brush. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dip our brush in the water. And then we're just going to swirl it around in the paint. Um, I'm using green because we'll be painting leaves. And then I just like to um, brush the paint onto the top of the paint palette. That way we're not taking paint directly from the um, pan. So once you've got a little bit of green, we're going to paint a leaf with a single stroke of a brush. So you're going to take your um, your paintbrush and position it to where the tip is only touching the paper, the very tip, and then as you drag your paintbrush, just press it down, drag it, and then slowly bring it back up. And then you've got yourself a leaf. So you can keep doing that. Um, you can use your paper towel to just kind of like wipe off some excess paint if you don't want that much paint. If you feel like there's too much paint right here, you can wipe off the excess paint and then take your brush and kind of soak up some of it. Or you can take your paper towel and just use the end to soak up some paint. That way it takes a shorter amount of time to dry for one thing. And then you can do that again. And you can make all kinds of shapes of leaves with this. So let's see. We're going to do the same technique. We're going to press the tip of our paintbrush onto the paper. And we're going to slowly drag it and press it down. Bring it back up. And we're going to do that again to make a bigger leaf. And if you want, you can um, fix the tip of the leaf right there. Um, I like it like that because, you know, that relief is unique. No, no leaf is perfect. Or you can make one that's kind of like bendy. It's all in how you move your brush. Just gonna bend it a little bit. Like that. And then once the paint is dry, you can go back in and add some little details to get the give the leaves some depth. So we're gonna use the same technique to paint the petals of a flower. So for my flower, I'm gonna start out with some yellow because we're gonna paint the middle of it first. And to paint the middle of the flower, I'm just going to take my brush and kind of like tap it on the paper in a circle. 
just like that. And then we're going to choose whatever color we want our flower to be. I think that I'm going to do red today. So, take a lot of red, kind of swirl it around. And then we're just going to use the same technique that we used to make our leaves. We're going to start at the, yellow, at the yellow with the tip of our brush and just lightly press down, pull it, and pull it back up like so. So then you're just going to keep repeating that process until you've made it all the way around. once with the one color we're going to go around again to fill in the gaps um, you can use the same color if you want or you can choose a different color so I'm going to choose so I'm going to mix some red and some purple to make kind of like a pinkish color And I'm just going to go around and do the same thing and fill in the gaps of the flower. flower petals you can go through and fix any little imperfections that you might not like so I'm just going to take some green and I'm going to draw a stem or I'm going to paint a stem so I'm just going to take the tip of my paintbrush again just lightly Go down. And then maybe draw a little leaf. And then you have painted a watercolor flower. Um, the great thing about this flower, it's, it's super easy to paint. You don't have to be like really good at watercolors to do it. And it's just really fun for everybody to do. So uh, if you want to add some more detail to it or add another touch to it, I like to take a little marker like this and just trace and um, I like to outline it to give it some more detail and kind of make it stand out. And there you have it, your very own watercolor flower. 
again, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next week.